This film will show you what to expect if you are having a loop recorder inserted. It includes images of the surgery in progress. My name is David Peter Hardman. I am 74 years old. I live on the edge of the Pennines. The reason is that I'm in for the loop system is that I've had a, um, some, well, about three or four, uh, one more or less a blackout, and one of the others have gone very dizzy. Since then, um, I went to the hospital and they made an appointment to come here to have the procedure done. And then the idea is to continue a normal life and to see whether I have any more dizzy spells or whatever, and then they can get down to the problem of, hopefully, of what is causing it. Although it doesn't uh, restrict me from doing a lot of things, but it does worry me. It's pretty uncomfortable. I'm Ben Brown. I'm a consultant cardiologist working in South Manchester and have a special interest in management of heart rhythm problems. Mr Hardman, the gentleman that we've seen this morning, is a gentleman that, without warning, has had episodes of blacking out or nearly blacking out. And quite rightly, there's concern about what the cause of things is, and so the loop recorder will hopefully shed some light on that. So you're a key part of this. If you hear things that you think are wrong, then please do feel free to shout out, speak up, OK? A loop recorder implant is generally a very straightforward thing to do. It takes approximately five to ten minutes. The actual implant itself only a few moments, but it's the setup of cleaning the skin, getting the patient into the catheter lab where this is generally performed. Great, thanks very much. We'll look after you. Thank you. It's a day case procedure, and we'll give patients antibiotics as an injection, so intravenously beforehand. So a loop recorder is a small device and it constantly records the heart rhythm. So this is a device that we use with patients who have problems that we suspect are due to the heart rhythm. So palpitations, if the heart's going fast, or if the heart's going slow, it can cause a variety of symptoms uh, that would include uh, dizziness, breathlessness, lightheadedness, or maybe tiredness. The reason why we'd use a loop recorder rather than a standard recording from the outside of the chest is if a patient's symptoms were infrequent. It allows us to record the heart rhythm for a prolonged period of time. These devices stay in for the best part of two, three years. The standard type of loop recorder um, is a small surgical procedure. There's an incision, so a cut that's put into the skin. So, so that's the size of the incision that we've made, so it's approximately two centimetres in size. There's then some pushing as we make a small pocket for the loop recorder to sit in, so it goes in underneath the skin and sits on top of the muscle. Once the loop cord is in place, we would then close the skin with a dissolvable suture. It takes 10 to 14 days to dissolve. It'll be a small scar, but that should heal nicely in most patients. As the anaesthetic wears off, then the patient may notice some discomfort. That's generally controlled with simple painkillers like paracetamol or codeine and things you can buy over the counter. That's been really straightforward, Mr Hardman. Well done. It's all finished, so OK. But the devices can also be patient activated, so we can give patients a small device that's about the size of a small computer mouse. They place it over the top of the loop recorder, press a button, and the device will automatically record a few minutes' worth of information. Once patients have done that, so once they've had a symptom or recorded some information, we can then have a look at that and we can print off the tracings and we can do that in one of two ways. And that can either be direct and face-to-face -face with the patient coming to the hospital or alternatively, and more convenient for some people, we can send this information over the internet. Before they go home, we'd check that they're happy with the information that they've been given and they'll be given the device to activate the loop recorder so that if they did have symptoms, they'd know what to do, which is obviously crucially important. Um, we then give them a two-week follow-up appointment, and that will vary from hospital to hospital, but that will be bringing them back to make sure that the wound's OK, to check that the device is recording a nice, clear signal and to go through any remaining questions. It's not as painful as you think. It's not as evasive as you think. It's um, just a matter of uh, having the loop put in, which I was in there half an hour, and now I'm back in the ward uh, having a cup of tea and a sandwich, and hopefully I'll go home in a couple of hours. Coronary heart disease is still the single biggest killer in the UK. But for over 50 years, we've tirelessly pioneered research that has helped transform the lives of people living with heart and circulatory conditions. Join our fight for every heartbeat in the UK. Every pound raised, every minute of your time and every donation to our shops will help make a difference. <laughs>